Nuclear power is expensive and takes too long to build. This criticism is partly true, as I explained in an earlier episode, though much of the problem is caused by safety regulations. Yes, turns out that asking that a nuclear reactor please not melt down does add a few pages to the paperwork. Small and modular nuclear reactors are supposed to make nuclear power faster and cheaper by streamlining production. They are becoming increasingly popular, but if you look at the facts, they don't look good. Small modular reactors typically produce a few hundred megawatts of power. The idea is that you can transport them so you can produce them in a factory and then ship them. Once at their destination, you combine them until you've reached the desired power. Kind of like IKEA's modular sofas, but radioactive. Interest in small modular reactors has been booming recently, as many nations realize that storage capacity and grid upgrades which are necessary for renewables are too slow to come by. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, there are now more than 25 countries investing into small modular reactors. The US government launched a dedicated program already in 2019. The UK government launched one the same year and just last week they topped up the funding. The Indian government announced in September that they have plans to build up to 50 small reactors in the coming decade. Even the Europe the European Commission has now at least formed an alliance that plans to formulate a plan with a roadmap that will facilitate the establishment of an academy and so on. If we're lucky, then by 2030 someone will have read that document. This is happening not least because many companies are wondering how they're supposed to power all their data centers. That AI is making increasingly more energy intensive. Amazon just announced last week that they're investing into three different US companies to explore the developments of small modular reactors. And Google announced likewise they've made an agreement with Kairos Energy. Small modular reactors could also be useful for energy intensive industries such as the production of steel, concrete and the crushing weight of existential dread in the face of unrealistic net zero plants. But if you look at what's been done so far, that isn't promising at all. The first US plan for a small modular reactor was the M-Power project. It was launched in 2009 and should have become operational in 2018. Instead, it was cancelled in 2017 after the costs almost doubled to half a billion and the Department of Energy refused to eat up the bill. Then there's the American company NewScale. In 2016, NewScale CEO John Hopkins said that the company expects to deliver its first project of 12 power modules for an overnight price of approximately $3 billion with commercial operation commencing in 2024. But NewScale gradually shifted the starting date to 2030 and the estimated cost more than tripled, eventually exceeding $9 billion. Then in November last year, they terminated the project entirely. You might hope that these are isolated cases or specific to the US, but unfortunately they are not. The Institute for Energy Economics and Financial Analysis in the United States has collected the numbers in a recent report and they're really depressing. There are currently only three small modular reactors in operation, two in Russia and one in China. They each cost more than three times as much as originally estimated. One that's under construction in Argentina has now exceeded seven times the planned cost. It's the same thing with small modular reactor projects that are still underway, such as the one from Hitachi or X Energy, that's one of the companies that Amazon just invested into. The costs are doubling, tripling, quadrupling and more. Why is that happening? Partly I think it's because companies have an incentive to underestimate costs if looking for investors, but it's also because they have a hard time coming up with reliable data to make good estimates. And how could they, seeing that there has been so little technology development in the area in the past decades? On top of that, you get inflation and increases in labor costs. And the issue is not just the cost, also the time to completion is 
is much longer than anticipated. For the few cases for which we have data, it took on average about three times as long as planned. Instead of three to four years, it was more like 12 years. Now, one might hope that things will fall into place once the research and development has been done and these devices can be mass produced. But there are now so many companies offering small modular reactors, they might never have a chance to produce many of them. You all know that I'm very supportive of nuclear power, so please don't take this video to mean that I've become anti-nuclear. But we need to look at the facts even if we don't like them. And if it doesn't work out with the small nuclear reactors, we can always count on the most reliable of all renewable energies, hope. I used to get a lot of spam calls on my cell phone. This has basically stopped since I got a new phone number, but I really don't want the new number to leak out again. This is why I've signed up to Incogni, who've been sponsoring this video. You see, each time you open a website, it'll try to collect data about who you are and where you are and what other websites you've visited. If you then sign up for a website and fill in your personal details, they can and often do make Make money by selling your private information to data brokers. Most countries have laws against that and you can ask for your data to be removed, but doing this takes up a lot of time. Incogni automates the process of getting you out of those databases. You sign up and they'll contact the big sinners requesting that your personal details be removed. They'll keep on doing that and if you want, send you updates about the progress they're making. I'm glad there's now a simple solution to stop unfriendly people doing nasty things with my personal details. Incogni is super easy to use. You sign up, give them the information they should look for and they go to work, like within a minute basically. I now sleep better at night and maybe I can help you sleep better too. If you use our code Zabina or the custom link in the info below, you'll get 60% off of Incogni. That's an amazing deal, so go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.